So this is a very interesting episode because I think we see for the first time in this entire campaign, a diplomatic swing uh, within our own continent, which is really strange because I was paranoid about it, but I don't know. I, I didn't think it was going to come this soon, uh, but it, it's not a big deal. It's not, it's not, it's not something huge, uh, but it is something that could drastically change uh, the way we have to play this game over time. So currently I am 5th in literacy, and uh, I don't think that this number is that accurate. Uh, we're only 4% behind the leader, which uh, surprisingly enough, Babylon is not the leader yet. I'm sure it's only a matter of time, though, uh, before they be they do become the leader. Uh, really quick update, I do have some counterintelligence working inside of my capital because I'm so sick of fucking Denmark stealing technologies away from me. So, you know, I, I, I've seen a lot of comments uh, and suggesting this, and I'm going to go ahead and do this, even though I don't. I don't normally do this. Now, I know this is kind of a, a strategy that a lot of the big deity players do. A lot of, a lot of the, the big, massive, you know, really, really good uh, Civ 5 players. I don't think, I, I wouldn't consider myself a deity player of, of Civ 5. Definitely not. I mean, I, I rarely play on deity, um, but a lot of the deity players do do the strategy, and you guys have been kind of mentioning it in the comment section below. So I, I'm, fo I'm focusing on production, and uh, then I will set the tiles from there on. Um, so I want to really kind of, you know, make this clear right now that, uh, because I think it should be pretty obvious. I'm going to make mistakes when I do it like this because I, I, I'm just not, you know, I don't have that much experience kind of practicing this, this way and, and kind of, I, I'm going to make mistakes in terms of like, I'm, I may work the wrong tile or maybe there's, maybe I work this farm, uh, or this grasslands up here when I could have worked maybe a better tile down here. Listen, I, I'm going to make mistakes and the only way I'm going to get better at this game is, is if, if I go ahead and practice and this is the way I'm going to practice. So I've kind of already set a couple, all my cities up. Uh, I, I put them all in production focus, but, but then, I, oh, except for this one, because this city, uh, doesn't really have much that it can do as it is. Um, um, we're gonna put that back because you know we don't we obviously this is obviously way better tiles uh, but yeah we'll this this city I guess we should focus on production and then boom shift this like this because these tiles are obviously way better than those damn forest tiles but yeah I'm gonna make mistakes you know it's just gonna happen and you know I apologize in advance but the only way I'm gonna be able to get better especially when it comes to this strategy I know Marba Marbazir does it all the time and uh, and and he's very good at this because he's so so good he's so good at, at Always checking his cities, always making sure that you know he's working on the right tiles. And unfortunately, I, I I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of skim over a couple of these things that I might miss a tile. That's that you know it's really not gonna affect the game that much. I mean I haven't done this strategy at all, and I really haven't had 100% control at all over what tiles each one of my citizens are working. And I still managed to kind of uh, pull out a win somehow. So really, I don't think that this is that big of a deal. Uh, it's a good strategy to go ahead and practice, and that's what we're gonna do. But at the end of the day, I don't think that if I if I miss a tile, if I if I you know miss a few tiles that I should have worked instead, it really I don't think it's gonna impact the uh, the the end of the game for the most part. Anyways, so next turn we're getting astronomy, which means we'll have access to our turtle ships. You know, the turtle ships are good, but you know they don't they're not a ranged navy navy unit. So I don't know how much they're gonna really help us out here. If I'm able to get them over towards the western uh, this western Korean city to kind of defend against Denmark, then possibly. Possibly it could help us out a little bit, but you know how am I supposed to get over there? Because you have to remember the turtle ships cannot go into deep sea, and that's one of the biggest issues with Korea, is that unfortunately I won't be able to find the rest of the world, and that sucks because I really, really wanted to. Um, you know, because we have access to so many extra luxury resources, specifically spices, I mean, there's so many excess spices, um, that it's 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 unfortunate, but um, I wanted to find the rest of the world. We won't be able to with the turtle ships. Uh, the technology after when we're able to build frigates, we will at that point. But um, we're just going to have to deal with it. I don't know if we're going to build too many t uh, turtle turtle ships, but we will definitely build more hawachas uh, because I don't think I'm going to go to war with Babylon anytime soon. At least not in this era. Uh, I think the only time we'll be able to go with. Uh, go to war with Babylon and have a successful war, or, or I guess battle, uh, would be with artillery. You know, they're, they're way too defensive, and I think that I've had way too many past experiences with Babylon to, to, to realize that I won't be able to attack these guys, I won't be able to destroy these guys at all if I don't have artillery. Not with their walls of Babylon, not with their special range units, um, you know, just they're too defensive. There's no way it's going to happen unless I get artillery. So I'm going to get as much Hawatches as I can, and then I'll upgrade those at some point. Because I'm doing pretty good in gold per turn. i got a pretty small army, so I guess that's part of the reason why. And I should probably prepare myself a bit more for a war at some point. 
a war at, at some point. Now, let me get this uh, worker to start working things. I don't know if I want to throw some, improve this uh, horse resource. Yeah, that'd probably be good, because I could possibly trade that off to another sieve at some point. I don't know when we're going to meet the rest of the world, but it's around turn 184, so you could expect that uh, some of the other sieves, especially because we're fifth in literacy, some of the other sieves got to be sending over some caravels very soon. Also, it became allied to this happiness city-state, so that's great. That's why my happiness is doing so good at 10 right now. That's great. Uh, I'm also building a zoo inside of our capital, which we technically don't really need anymore. I could shift that focus um, but I, I think I'll, I'll just continue off of there, and we will see. Okay, so let's let's make sure that we have our crossbowmen on defensive locations, all on hills and stuff like that. That is going to be really important to uh, kind of keeping our area defense defended and, and making sure all of our shit is safe. So Busan just kind of built the shrine. I know it's not pronou pronounced Busan. I'm sorry that I pronounce it like that. It's just that's the, the most simplest way I could pr pronounce this word. You got You have to remember that my mind is very simple. I've got a very simple mind. If you if you confuse it, if you if you throw big words at me, I get confused and I take them to offense. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, I think an observatory would be the right pathway to go. So as I'm I'm making 33 science per turn here. I think that's the right thing to do. It's gonna take us 15 turns. That's quite a lot. But you know we already have finished the we already have the workshop finished, right? Yeah, we do. So it's not really gonna get much better until we grow. I mean, we will grow. The city's gonna grow in, in another turn. So. Um, also, you know, I didn't mention this because I kind of messed with, with my citizen management here um, in my empire. That means I took a lot of my specialists off. And I understand that, you know, I know that I'm going to be kind of uh, – that, that, that will give me less science. But I, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll put them back on. Uh, it's just going to be for a brief period. I will get them soon enough. Um, and I also believe that I'm going to get a great scientist here in Busan pretty soon, depending on how fast I get those specialists up on my universities. It all depends on, on, on when I grow, and I don't think that we need specialists right now, right now. I mean, we do. We do, but I think that it's okay to get a little bit of extra production really quick to get out some of these science buildings. I think it's really, really important. All right, so um, especially when it comes to the observatory in Busan. So I can get a steel. I can get the access to long swordsmen. Um, I kind of want to do that, but at the same time, I really want banking so I get access to another uh, additional trade route. Uh, I think we'll do it like that, but then again, navigation in 11 turns. Nah, it's going to take too long. Let's get banking, and then we'll be able to trade, either sending internal trade routes. Probably more than likely, we'll be sending internal trade routes, and then let's get up a pasture here. That way, we'll, we're able to uh, trade off to someone like either Babylon or Denmark. Now, let's not forget that... Nope, 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 nope. Uh, which the AI really can't defend the city even if they wanted to, even if they did figure out, which I haven't seen any uh, Babylonian troops go through this small pass because I don't think they, I don't know if they're just stupid or if they haven't explored over here, but the AI for some reason just does not cross over city-state territory, even though they can, um, especially because they're allied to this city-state, but they just don't do it. I don't know what the, the problem is. Uh, what was I going to say? Something about Denmark. Oh, let's not forget that Denmark and Babylon are still at war, which is good uh, because we're out of that war. We're just chilling here. We're just chilling in the corner down south, just kind of relaxing. You guys want us to get citrus. Um, we'll probably have to connect that through some other sort of uh, sieve because we won't be able to do that. And you don't want us... Oh, I guess a barbarian encampment has already been destroyed. Yeah, more than likely by, I'm guessing, Babylon. I don't know. Okay, so these crossbowmen are in good positions. I guess I'll put my Hawatch up here too. And, uh, you know, having my ranged units on hills is always a great thing. I'm going to try to kind of keep that up. Maybe put this guy on a hill. And, uh, yeah, we're going to station these guys. So now we've got a little extra line of defense. We're ready for. We're ready to go. I don't think, I don't think Denmark's going to be going to war with us anytime soon, though. I think they're done. Surprisingly enough, I think they might be done. Also, I'm going to need to think about what I'm going to do with all this extra gold. I'm making 500, I'm making 50, 500, what the fuck, uh, I'm making 54 gold per turn right now, and I need to figure out what I'm going to do with all of this extra gold, I, I don't know, Lucin de de demands sugar, real quick, let's check what my cities want, citrus, sugar, dyes, and furs, okay, so all sorts of different things, um, you are now, let's see here, is there a tile that we can get rid of? No, 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 no. Well, did we grow still in the same amount of turns? I might go ahead and, and take an extra turn to grow and then start to get a specialist on the university tile here. Um, and you, I don't think I want you to work in on any specialists. You, you, these two new cities kind of need to focus on 
their growth. But my first original two cities can, in fact, work on some stuff. Is there any tiles that don't seem that significant? No, everything seems to be pretty significant inside of my capital. But I'm going to try to be as efficient as possible with my citizen management. But uh, again, you know, like I, I warned everyone, I, I'm going to make a little bit of mistakes just because it's my first time ever really trying to really go full all out on the citizen management like a lot of the, the big strong deity players do. But I will try. Okay, so I think Stoneworks would be good, uh, especially because we're going to see a lot of... we. I mean, we're going to see that happiness fall pretty fast because I'm going to have so much... Uh, ooh, but you know, the workshop would be good. Uh, let's build the workshop first. Yeah, let's build the workshop first. I'm, I'm, I'm at nine. I'm at nine happiness. I should be okay until this workshop is done. Um, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to kind of improve some more tiles. I would like maybe another worker... Astronomy has been stolen. Son of a bitch. What the hell are you doing? Are you even performing any counterintelligence? It was by an unidentified sieve, so it doesn't matter. Also, I don't even know. Can I go to these guys and tell them to stop spying on me? No. It doesn't give me that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop spying on me. All right, so hopefully that happens. Hopefully they don't betray me. We shall see, but maybe that'll stop it because this is ridiculous, the amount of freaking technologies they've stolen. Um, I think we need work. Oh, you know what? I kind of want the university, though. Let's go university first. Even though it's going to take me 18 turns, I'm hoping that we really, f you know, work on getting as much production um, tiles in this city improved. That'll be a big deal. All right. And again, I am the only person on this continent with a religion. Uh, that's why, you know, I kind of made it a brief priority to make some, to get some faith buildings up. I want to continue to do that, especially because uh, I will be able to make more science from missionaries and uh, and great prophets continuing to expand our, and spread our religion. So we'll get a, a small one-time boost to our science. All right, so now we're going to lose a lot of happiness. As you can see, all these cities are on the verge of growth here. So like, like I said, my prediction is, is going to definitely come true pretty fast here. And as we can see, the war between Denmark and Babylon is still going pretty strong, which is good because it kind of does keep Babylon off our back briefly. Uh, it will keep Babylon off of our back. All right, so what do we got? Is there any time? I know you just grew, right? Or am I smoking crack? Did you not just grow? I think I might have been smoking crack. I thought you were at one population. Is Oh, maybe oh maybe it was here. I think this, uh, this fourth city. Again, also, you know, I, I am still playing with the idea of settling here. Um... We will see. Right now, we're doing some pretty important stuff. Uh, but if I ever have nothing to do, maybe in my capital or in Busan, then maybe I will. We will see. I don't know why I thought the game wasn't notifying me when I grow when I grew, but it is. Okay, so here's a good tile to kind of remove and, and work on some food. Oh, yeah, we'll grow a lot faster here. But then again, I kind of just want to get up to university and finish that as fast as possible. Um... It's only going to take take away two turns, but look at the significant impact to my growth. It takes away five turns by just working this uh, this cattle. I know there's also somewhere... Uh-oh. Oh, yes. I forgot about this. I knew about this. Let's, let's go take this guy out really fast and get ourselves a fourth worker. If we can. All right, let's chase this guy down and try to get ourselves a fourth worker because we really, really do need one, especially for our capital. All right, and I'm guessing steel... Or economics. Economics could be good because that'll improve my gold, which I'm already doing pretty good with gold. Uh, navigation is obviously important. Steel really isn't important right now. It's not a really important resource, even though we do have access to iron and we could build long swords on right away. We're not really trying to build any melee units because we're not trying to attack anybody anytime soon. I think we'll go economics, even though it's going to take me. Well, it's going to take me quite a bit. Maybe I should go for a frigate and, and hope for the best and try to find all these sieves. Hmm. I gotta remember the scientific theory is overall our, our, our most important thing that we need to get. But let's go steal in five turns. I can't. It's only five turns. I mean, it's not that bad. All right, so my city really can't build much. Uh, let's oh let's get a car. Oh, no, let's get a caravan. I know a cargo ship is better, and I know I believe a couple of these city states want a trade route. Yeah, you do, and so do you. Okay, so these guys want a, a few trade routes. Do I go cargo ship or a caravan? Unfortunately, a cargo ship won't. I won't be able to really do that much for like internal trading, which is kind of what I want right now. So I'm going to go with the caravan because I, I want to do a lot of, I'll do the cargo ships at the end of the game, but right now I'm just trying to do the internal trades and get more food and production go flowing within my empire. Okay, so you've grown again and, uh, oh, we did know about that. So is there actually a better tile? Yeah, like here. This is a way better tile to work instead. All right, cool. Um, and you go there. Okay. 
All right, and next turn, wait, our research agreement with uh, Nebuchadnezzar is up. Let's see if we can get that up right now. Let's get. Let's see, try to repeat that deal. Oh, we'll have to wait till next turn because you don't have enough gold. Okay. All right, so next turn we will go for it. Uh, and it looks like you are... Oh, man, I hope Denmark continues to take down your units. I'm liking that, you know, they have a few trade routes with us. Vatican City. We met the Vatican City. How? When did we met... Oh, do they have a... Oh, no, I don't know where we met these guys from. Okay, so this previous cargo ship was going to the city-state that we're already allied to. No point in that anymore. Uh, let's see which city-state is... This is... This is cultured city-state, city uh, and you want us to just discover a natural wonder, it'd probably be better to try to steal this away from Babylon, uh, especially because this is providing them so much food. Let's go ahead and go there to um, Ormus here. It's going to give us 10 gold back. I'll take it. It's a little bit unsafe, especially when there's barbarian uh, barbarians all around this place, and I'm going to keep this crossbowman up, and uh, we'll just take two units to go take care of that. All right, and what do we got? What do we got? Babylon is now an allied. Oh, not another one. Okay. Well, that sucks. We won't be getting any of these other two missions. The culture and the great artist probably won't happen anytime soon. Obviously, we can get a cargo ship up. Uh, the reason, part of the reason, one was when I didn't want the culture from the city state, but I wanted the the food from Ormus. Um, uncovered that Nebuchadnezzar is plotting against you. Oh shit. We hope that you will share any intrigue. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you, Denmark. I don't really trust you fucking at all, but. That's interesting. Uh, that's in that's an interesting development. A little bit scary, but an interesting development. Okay, now all we have to do is find a natural wonder for these guys, and more than likely we'll be able to supplant Babylon as the new ally, uh, which means that we'll be able to get some of that uh, stuff back. Okay, so yeah, we'll keep sending food to Busan here and get their get their. Uh, oh, there it is. It's really close by. Nice. So we should be able to take that pretty easily. Should be able to take that down pretty easily, and yes, we'll go for a production here because we're trying to get down this university as fast as possible. That way, we're able to get we're able to get specialists at some point when the city can grow to a big enough size. Observatory in seven turns, not bad. Oh, and Denmark is continuing to kind of there's the war is continuing to go pretty hot over here, pretty hot. I like it. Peace treaty with Bluetooth has ended. All right, and again, there's like, like I said, there's no there's no point in getting the turtle ship up right now. It really won't help us out that much unless we are talking about the city state towards the west. It'll help defending against Denmark. Oh, Denmark has a settler over here, but I don't think besides that it won't do that much more. Uh, and I'm actually thinking banking because we're making so much gold per turn right now. A bank would would provide us even more gold, a lot more gold. Um, harbor would be good uh, slightly. I think I can't pass up that bank because we're going to get so much. And actually, we could just purchase a settler. Ooh, ooh, you're starting to really... Oh, that, that... Oh, man. We could purchase a settler and go grab that spot. Risky, definitely. But I think I have to. That's such an awesome spot. It's just... Oh, I'm scared to kind of stay so far... To kind of get so far away from the rest of my empire... But it's, it's such a good spot, I can't really pass it up. And I'm actually going to send, we're going to send this to, we're going to put it in Busan and send it to my capital. All right, let's take out this pikeman. Uh, I am really, really scared to put a city so far away from my mainland empire. But uh, it's something that we kind of have to do. It's such an awesome spot, I don't think I could pass it up. And yeah, I know I, I know I need to improve those spice resources, but we will see about that a little bit later. Yeah, getting us some trade routes... Uh, would be good. Are there any tiles that we're working that are improved? No? No, we are improved just about everything except for this source here. I guess we should put a trade route on top of that. Or trading post. I'm sorry. Trading post. And now we'll go ahead and improve this spice resource. Alright. And again, we might as well not... Oh, it's going to take 12 more turns. Okay, never mind. I think I think this is a good idea. Have the observatory take a little bit longer. That way we're able to get a great scientist up a bit faster. Now we're doing 164 science per turn. I, I mean, there's only a time that, the only time can tell if uh, this is going to be enough science to kind of keep up with Babylon. Perfect. Okay. And no open borders. Sorry, buddy. But uh, it's really, really crucial. I don't trust you. Clearly, Denmark is slightly, right now, a better friend than you are. Okay. So I don't know if I want to send this guy, like, unprotected, but I'm thinking about it. All right, let's get ourselves an extra settler. And uh, is who is this for? To Babylon? No, fuck you. We're going to take it. Yeah, we'll take it. And 25 gold. Perfect. 
and now our worker will be able to kind of help out our capital. That worked out really well. That worked out really, really well. And this is going to kind of send food back to our, yeah, right there. Oh, we already had one going there. Okay, I get you. I'm only getting one science back to a trade route to Babylon, which isn't that big of a deal. I'm already making enough gold per turn that I don't really care about that. So you know what I'm going to do? I, I'm going to send this guy back to uh, the capital because I didn't know I, I already had a caravan established sending uh, food to my capital. So uh, that's good. All right, extra gold and culture with the spices improved. I forgot about that. I'm forgetting about the, the Pathion that we got. Those plantations are doing a great job, especially for adopting policies pretty fast, although it's going to take 31 turns for our next policy. That's kind of unfortunate, but okay. All right, open territory, and we'll send you back home. And I don't think we're going to need to escort this guy, so I'll send this crossbowman back up here. All right, and hopefully our city-state keeps us safe. The city-state has a lot of units. That makes me feel pretty good. All right, so uh, I can't send a food. I already sent food to Busan, so I might as well send some food to... Looks like if anyone's going to be struggling, it may be this guy. I might want to send food here. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Um, looks like you are struggling quite a bit with food. All right, let's do it like that, and that should kind of decrease the time it's going to take to grow. Uh, and I guess we'll go economics... Now, I mean, at this point, really, I mean, eventually I want to get a frigate, but uh, there's not a real point to now since most of the other city-states in this game probably already have caravels up, which means that they're already going to discover everyone before we do, which means the World Congress is going to be founded pretty soon. So we might as well just wait for the, an AI to do it before we, you know, it's, we're not ahead in technology anyway. So it's not like we're any time close, any, anywhere close to being able to uh, find everyone and stuff like that. So we might as well just chill not make it a big priority, wait for the AIs to, to find everybody, and then and then we'll figure it out from there. Okay, and let's, since we're about to, we're, we're going to get that observatory up pretty soon, I might as well work a separate tile, maybe for some more food. Um, fortunately, you know, I know putting plantations on top of these, uh, I know that putting on plantation on top of the bananas is, I, I don't think I'm going to do it with this banana source. I've always known how bad it is. I know it's bad, but, uh, you know, in the beginning, like in the capital, having this banana resource with five extra food instead of the four early on, I think is a big difference. Uh, but for this banana resource, I'm going to keep it there. Four food and two science. Uh, that's really beautiful. That's like beautiful. That's music to my ears. All right, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. We've got eight happiness and all of our car, uh, all of our trade routes are, are going strong. Um, Empire is doing good. I think I'm going to settle this spot. Hopefully no one else gets there before we do, but it's such a good spot. And if I ally to some city states, they should help defend us a little bit. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.